What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how we can use an extension for SketchUp in order to quickly automate the creation, not only of doors, but also of openings. Stick around to the end because I'm gonna show you a game-changing feature of this tool um, that I use all the time for even more complex walls. Creating windows in SketchUp can actually be really frustrating because you have to do multiple different steps, right? So the first thing you need to do is you need to figure out where your opening's gonna go. So you're in here and you're creating a whole bunch of guides so this might be off of this wall for example and then you're gonna have to draw it again and then you have to figure out how tall your window is gonna be and you can just spend a ton of time creating these openings in your wall and this is just to get the opening that your window is gonna go in so next you have to mess around with creating the window itself so you might use the rectangle tool offset it in by maybe an inch like this and then you might push pull this all the way through in order to create kind of the frame of the window so we're creating the frame right here and then you have to push pull this one as well in order to get to the back side probably delete out the face and now you're at least working with a window but then within the window itself you're having to create groups you're having to mess around with kind of dividing edges and things like that in order to get your panes in here, it's just a lot of additional work. And so then you've got this component that you're messing around with and you're having to create all the different sides and then you have to push pull both directions in order to get it work, working the way that you want it to work so that your window actually has thickness associated with it. Then you're using the, um, the move tool in copy mode in order to copy these like this. And then if you decide that you want to change the window, you're going to have to manually redo everything, right? You're going to have to click into your wall. You're going to have to make the opening different size. It's just a lot of work to create windows manually in SketchUp. It's one of my least favorite things to do. And so there's an extension, you've probably heard me talk about it before, called Flex Tools. And so Flex Tools is an extension that contains a number of dynamic components that also interface with things like your walls in order to make cutting the openings and making changes really easy. They're currently running a Black Friday special. You can check it out at the sketchupessentials.com slash Flex Tools. Note that is an affiliate link, meaning I do receive a commission if you purchase through that link. But what this does is this allows me, instead of doing all of this, I can just use the Flex Tools library in order to add things like doors or windows. So, for example, let's say that I wanted to add a sliding window in here. And it's going to be slightly different size, but I've got my guide in here and I can just pick this. Well, notice first what it does is if you drop it on a component like this, it automatically cuts an opening in the wall. So I didn't have to click in here and make any of those changes. It does it for me. But then I can also scale and resize the windows. Well, one of the things I really like about this tool is when it scales and resizes the windows, it also scales and resizes is the opening, meaning I can use this in order to really quickly create windows with openings um, that, can, that I can size to whatever I want. So not only can you do that with the windows, you can also do that with things like the flex doors. So let's go ahead and let's pick, um, I want a glass door. So I'll pick a glass door right here. We'll notice how if I click in here and I drop this on this object, it just cuts the opening in the door right here and then I can scale it but I can also right click on this and go into the dynamic components functionality and adjust things about this so for example I can say no I want this to be a 36 inch wall I want this to be a 72 inch high opening whatever you want notice how when I click in here and I do that that's going to adjust automatically you can also do that for things like the sliding windows or if you put like more commercial style windows in here you can do things like setting the mullions and the splits so say I change this to three window units and click on this apply, it's going to split this into three vertical units like this. And I can adjust this and notice how the opening in the wall is going to adjust with it, just like this. So just this functionality by itself makes this extremely valuable. And so one thing you might be thinking is you might be thinking, well, that's great, but walls aren't usually built this way. There's usually multiple different layers in the walls and you'd be 100% right, right? You might have a layer of uh, stud framing. You might have a layer of jip board. You've got sheathing. You've got rigid insulation. You've got an air gap. So your wall assembly might look like this. Okay, and so now we've got multiple different planes that we have to cut through. Well, if you take an object, like for example, I'm going to place another glass door right here and we'll go ahead and we'll open it up so that you can see it 
like this because these are dynamic components, but you notice how this cuts through the first two faces automatically, but you can take it and tell it to cut through multiple different faces by converting it to a wall cutter function. And I'm gonna tell it, hey, you need to cut through like, what is it, eight different faces right here, like this. Well, the cool thing about this is if we take this object and we move it, the wall cut is gonna move along with it, like this. So you can actually use this functionality in order to cut an opening like this. You could also take the object and inset it using the dynamic functionality. So say I wanted this to be inset like four inches, I could just type in four inches and run this. And notice how when I do this, it insets it into the opening right here. And so the cool thing about this is you can also take this and you can use it with the other kinds of windows as well. So say I placed like one of these flex arch windows. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this window and I'm gonna align it with the top of this door frame right here. But then if I change this and I add some cuts to it right here, notice how this is gonna cut an opening in the wall right here and you can actually move this around. Too. So this is a super powerful time-saving tool for working with complex um, walls and openings. And there's a ton of other features in here. Like for example, there's a flex stair feature that you can use in order to adjust and place stairs that'll automatically adjust by doing things like that. A bunch of other tools in here as well, which I can do more videos on, but for creating openings in walls and automatically setting up things like doors and windows, this extension saves me a ton of time. All right, so that's where I'm in this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about flex tools. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.